Hi everyone and welcome to today's 30 Days of Art episode 27. Before I begin, if you're interested in limited edition prints of this drawing or any drawings in this set, they are available at happyd-artist.com. And if you would like to take a look at a real-time version of this video, along with other fun daily rewards such as coloring challenges and live streams, check out patreon.com slash happydartist. Okay, let us begin. To switch it up a bit, I thought today I would discuss something about artist life. I know that a lot of you guys want me to give art tutorials and advice on technique, and although I do love making those videos, I also want to share a little bit more kind of behind the scenes take on what being an artist is like, because I know a lot of you guys watching this are coming to the age where you are deciding on what careers you want to have and I think it's really valuable also to give insight on what the day-to-day -day life is like for an artist outside of the actual process of making art. So without further ado, today's topic of discussion is the sacrifices you have to make as an artist. And I just want to preface this by saying, no, I'm not trying to complain. And all these sacrifices, like for every little sacrifice, there's an, a massive amount of more joy and fulfillment that comes with being an artist. So overall, being an artist is an extremely rewarding, positive experience. Um, but, you know, I have gotten a few comments asking me what are some things I've had to sacrifice or what's so some hardships about being an artist and I thought this is interesting to share as well because I don't want to give the illusion that being an artist is some perfect glamorous stress-free life it's it comes with its own set of problems just like any other career so um, I think my biggest sacrifice and the thing I've noticed the most change um, from you know college or from working full-time is my social life and I know that social life sometimes comes with this almost casual connotation of just being parties and, you know, having fun with friends and going out and doing fun things. And yes, sacrificing that is hard because I feel like a lot of our young lives, um, a lot of the enrichment that comes from it is forming these really intimate friendships and forming a bond and networking with other human beings. I believe that's how human beings, evolutionarily speaking, were probably designed to be. We're social creatures. And when you're a full-time artist, any day can be a work day, especially if you're self-employed and you work from home. So you don't really give, get this illusion of, okay, there's a nine to five work day and after you know the time is up then it's my free time like any single hour of the day could potentially be a work hour so anytime you make a decision to do something social or fun or go hang out with your friends it comes with like a side of guilt because you feel like that could be time that you could be investing into working and because of that guilt it made me less <laughs> less inclined to say yes to offers to do social events like go to parties or going to concerts or even getting dinner with friends. I was always putting my career and doing work first and I think I've definitely sacrificed a lot for that because I feel like even being social is a skill that you need to practice. I've noticed that with less and less exposure to social events or to hang out with other people, I've become a lot more like awkward and nervous when I meet new people or when I, you know, engage in like social activities, I'm just not as graceful or as articulate as I want to be or that I, as I used to be, honestly. So that's something I really want to work on too, is just to like practice my emotional intelligence and bring up my social IQ. Cause that is an important life skill to have in addition to like learning how to draw and paint is to, you know, learn how to be likable, learn how to communicate well, learn how to form connections with people. And yeah, that's a huge sacrifice of being um, a self-employed indoor artist. <laughs> and um, another sacrifice is honestly like health and fitness. I know that this doesn't apply to everyone, this is just for me. A lot of people are really self-disciplined and can hold themselves to like a workout routine or a healthy eating routine, even, you know, despite the circumstances. Even if they're self-employed or work from home, they can still find some sort of motivation to go to the gym. For me, I really need a more routine schedule because 
most of my work involved me sitting on my butt and like drawing or painting or editing videos. It's a, I get used to that sedentary lifestyle. It's a lot of just resting. And it's hard for me to peel myself out of my chair and go out for a jog or go to the gym. And I noticed like when, when I was working full time and I had to like travel to like downtown San Francisco and get on a bus and walk several blocks to my office and like walk around to grab lunch or walk to a pub after work for happy hour. At least it got me on my feet throughout the day. Like there were many, many opportunities for me to walk around. And you know, I think over the course of the day, I could still end up walking 10,000 steps, just commuting to and from work. And so I was more used to a slightly more active lifestyle and going to the gym wasn't this weird jarring experience. Going to the gym was just, you know, a slightly more activity than usual. Whereas now going to the gym and even doing a light workout takes a huge toll on my body because I'm just so used to resting all the time and that's not good. So that's one weird sacrifice I had to make is like now I can barely run for like 15 minutes without going out of breath. Um, and. Another weird sacrifice I've had to make, I guess, is pride, and it comes in two forms. So I've had to really put aside my pride a lot of times and not always try to voice my opinion or stick up for myself or like disagree with people. I feel like being an artist and especially being a social media artist, it comes with almost kind of like a bad connotation. Um, people don't take you as seriously, especially if you tell someone that you make the bulk of your business or bulk of your um, career is off of social media, people just assume it's like you wanting attention, like you wanting to, you know, like whore yourself out to get attention, to get validation. When in reality, like it's not the case. I'm far from that. I share mostly pictures of my art, my studios, and sometimes my animals. And I don't know, I just, when I tell people that I have a YouTube channel or that I'm an artist in general, like people that, that don't know me that I just meet for the first time, they kind of almost just assume I just don't have a real job. Like they don't give me that level of respect that I really want. And I think all of us want that. We, If we work hard at something and truly care about something, we want that acknowledgement of our hard work. And um, yeah, it's hard to get that when you tell people that hey, I'm an artist and I have a YouTube channel. People kind of just like, oh, okay, like, so you don't have a real job? You know, it's, they don't say it to you directly, but you can tell, especially certain people that, you know, are not super nice. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of online negativity too. I think anyone who's brave enough to share any part of their work or their life online, you know, you put up with the every so often, like a nasty comment, an internet troll, someone plagiarizing your work, someone impersonating you and those are all things that used to really really take a toll on me and now they just kind of mildly annoy me like i have a lot thicker skin now and i'm really thankful for that at least so yeah i guess in some ways none of this not all the sacrifices are bad some sometimes they train you to be a stronger person so yeah, that is all for the video for today. I hope you guys found it useful. And if you're interested in limited edition prints, again, they can be found at happyd-artist.com. And thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.